Now this is, uh, in, in, in summary, in recognition of his extraordinary contributions to the long-standing alliance between the United States and the United Kingdom, and to peace and security around the world. And I'll say in slightly greater length a little bit uh, what we mean by that, but it will not go on for too long. Now, you don't need me to tell you that Senator Lugar's association with the United Kingdom goes back almost 60 years, when he was selected to attend Pembroke College, Oxford, as a Rhodes Scholar. And to this day, the Senator remains active on behalf of that college, on behalf of the university, and assisting with outreach and fundraising activities around the world, not least here in the United States. After he graduated from Oxford University, the Senator served in the US Navy, attaining the rank of Lieutenant. And he then spent, I'm told on good authority, a number of years managing the family manufacturing business. I'm a little bit scared at this point because I know his biographer is here, and if I get it wrong, he's going to tell me. <laughs> in 1968, Richard Lugar was elected mayor of his home city of Indianapolis. In 1976, he moved on to join the United States Senate, where he was to distinguish himself with 36 years of exceptional service. Senator Lugar has long been known as one of the foremost exponents of bipartisanship in the United States Congress, especially but not only on foreign policy. He has always believed that the role of a legislator at the national level is to assume national responsibilities and where it is possible to seek common ground, not opposition, with political opponents. It was therefore not surprising that on his retirement in January this year, the glowing tributes came in equal measure from both sides of the aisle, fairly unusual in today's Washington. In 1991, he joined with Senator Sam Nunn to enact the visionary project that Senator Lugar's biographer, John Shaw, has described as disarmament's brand name. And to date, the Nunn-Lugar Cooperative Threat Reduction Program has deactivated more than 7,600 nuclear warheads across the former Soviet Union and eliminated or secured numerous delivery mechanisms, such as bombers and submarines. As a direct result of this work, Ukraine, Kazakhstan, and Belarus, once respectively, the world's third, fourth, and eighth largest nuclear powers are today free from nuclear weapons entirely. More than 20 years on, the non lugar program continues to expand. In 2005, Senator Lugar made another bipartisan partnership, this time with then-Senator Barack Obama, to extend the program to certain unsecured conventional weapons at risk of falling into the hands of terrorists. Last year, at a ceremony to mark the 20th anniversary of the program's establishment, President Obama rightly referred to Nan Lugar as one of the country's smartest and most successful national security programs in history. Its influence extends well beyond United States foreign and security policy. It was the model and platform for development of the G8's global partnership against the spread of weapons and materials of mass destruction. Established in 19 